Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another session here, Mike Yetu, where we come out and air voices on some of the emerging, trending issues, and even challenges we people might be facing. And to be honest, you didn't see this coming. And I also, to be honest, neither did I see any of this coming, but I'm really glad to having you for this session. So, Manze, I know I'm, we're going to talk a lot concerning women and leadership. So in front of us, we have some chiles. As you can see, they are very well, wonderful. So, so that looks to never deceive, we're going to hear what are their minds going to say about women and leadership. And hoping so, just from their looks, it's going to match their mindset. So Maze, I know I haven't done a lot of justice on the intro part. So I'm going to let you like to speak out on who you are, which area we are representing today, and what you currently do. Hi, hello guys. I'm Atama Pat, a student from Kibabi University, taking Bachelor of Science in Bioresource Conservation and Management. Enjoy with us. Hi guys, I'm Linda Asyomuga. I'm also a student at <coughs> Kibabi University, taking Bachelor of Commerce, Supply Chain Management major. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Linda Asyomuga. Enjoy the session. Yo, what's up guys? It's your girl, Fishing Sawaya. That's my name. I'm a student at Kibabi University pursuing business management, specializing in logistics and procurement. I'm also a YouTuber. Make sure you subscribe to my channel at Fishing Sawaya on all social media platforms. Let's just get to interact more. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Maureen Denya, a student, a student at Kibabi University. I'm taking a bachelor in resource management. I'm also a YouTuber. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Maureen Denya. I'm also a business woman. I do such talks like this one. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave my details and then we're going to talk more. And thank you. Welcome. Join us and discuss more with us. Let me sip this drink first. <laughs> Hi guys, so my name is TC Nabalayo, but I prefer to be called Nabalayo. Nabalayo is an African lady who is empowered and phenomenal. She is a teacher at Kibabi University and she loves the subject that um, she's actually teaching. I'm a teacher of mathematics and physics and I am so proud to be in Roma and I am so proud to sit uh, with this phenomenal ladies to have conversation about women and leadership so i hope so you guys are gonna enjoy yeah and i'm also gonna enjoy the so thank you very much so for the purpose of my care <laughs> i'm gonna start off and i'm i'm going to ask you some questions so so madam who are gonna participate in your leadership i'm a gava it's by voting running for elected posts who are my leaders go church, exactly, exactly. Do you see any of this happening? Yes, according to us, nowadays we see, we see ladies are coming out in large numbers, we go voting because we want to choose the people we want to deal with, we want to choose the everyone that we want to choose um, what we want, who we want to lead us because we know that if they lead us, they're gonna lead us in a good way, mm -hmm. we are gonna have our rights. And then leadership nowadays, like many people, we have feminists and all these things that are coming up and how leaders are empowering themselves. So according to me, I think ladies do come out in large numbers to participate in leadership and voting. What about you guys? You see, ladies, they are so, they, don't, they can't get the money. They can't get the money for those, those seats because they fear that. I want to be how I want to go, you see. So it's like it's a mental thing that we have. So you find as in for seeds, for some seeds come up the back. You find there are few ladies who are willing to stand up and buy the other seeds because they are so afraid that we want to be how it's in each other. They don't believe in women as they are leaders. Men don't trust me. I always honor what I do and I want to say. They don't trust me. I don't think ladies have that courage of coming up. I think I'm also going to agree with Tash. I feel like society has labeled the, uh, ladies to be with me. Uh, like when you go out, even at a, we see when people are like, you know, doing a voting thing, as in when a woman stands up and she, she says, like, I want to I wanna be a governor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those people can accept a woman. 
Nini, nini. We're just gonna go for that. I feel like personally, like, uh, ladies, we actually know we're each other's enemies. Yeah, like, it's when true. Like, when your friend, I could do as mom and somebody like, for example, say, Nini, we're friends. Oh my God, Linda, I want you to be up. Yes, yes. I love her. That's how you. Why? Why do you? I didn't I'm not going to use it, but some ladies. I'm that lady. You know, the governor, I'm any of the sort of thing. Mr. Chaka, I think it will be so like envious. I don't want you getting money. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Do you True. feel like the society, like the society we're living in, the African society has made us to be like that? Because like when you go to a country like maybe US, mm -hmm. I feel like they're living, you know, like how they're thinking, like yeah. now, yeah. 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 but when you come here in Africa, them akijitokeza, natika kufanya hii. It's not even about leadership, the kyaki. And I like, let's, you guys are starting, I mean, you guys will have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. Not all of your friends. When you subscribe to the YouTube channel because I don't like come like, hey, Monday, if I subscribe to her channel, yeah. at our more cut. At our more cut. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay in my point, I think like these days, mm -hmm. or, or rather those days, mm -hmm. the political seats were affiliated to the male gender. Yes. Yeah. Like when a woman is powerful, people 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 don't like feminists. They're like, yeah. they would do better than the men. Because yeah. what a man can do, a woman can do yeah, better. better. Yeah, exactly. So people are afraid to be represented by women. And when a woman stands out, people try to look at her weak side and put her down. Yeah. So, in my point, we should empower women because a woman can lead way better than a man. True. That's why we say, woman is the mother to mother nature. Yeah. Yeah. Because she brings, she, brings, she, brings, she brings life on earth. When I'm here, I'm here. Why not give her that seat? Yeah. Why? Give a woman a spam, she's going to give you a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is woman, uh, how is she <laughs> yeah. So, but if me, I, I think, I, I, I think nowadays, you know, that is what used to happen. But nowadays, leaders, okay, ladies, actually, to be in particular, yeah. they have come together and they realize this is what you want to change. Yeah, yeah. we don't want to be led by people. You know, men sometimes they look down upon us, right? Yeah. Yeah. But right now. It, right now what is happening leaders are coming to bring change Le yeah, leader, ladies true. are bringing change yeah, why we are. have ladies in positions look at our vice whatever vice yeah, president yeah vice president of the u.s <laughs> look at michelle oh, obama so. look at <laughs> all the ladies oprah yeah. winfrey name them yeah. all the ladies out yeah. there they're doing great things, they're doing great things. Yeah. why because they're changing it someone is like if michelle can do this yeah. then i can do it if so and so that can do this, then I can also do it. So yeah, also Beyonce. I said them so that can put whatever you want. You see, because nowadays leaders are changing, and I I I I I I strongly agree that leaders, ladies nowadays, they're coming out to choose the people they want because nowadays we are empowered. That's why we have women women empowerment groups. Why? Because we want women to stand for themselves. But I feel like we should also like create like a group. So that we can uh, create more awareness yeah, because you might be empowered over here, <coughs> but a lady maybe in Ushabu, and, yeah. and you know that's she's changing. not empowered because that woman is not educated. Because they usually say when you're educated, you kind of kind of open up your mind, yeah, you know, and, sure. and I feel like most men, I don't know, they're usually intimidated by feminists because yeah. they believe when a woman gets education, you know, this woman is empowered. And when you're empowered, you can do anything yeah. that you want. Nobody can, like, you know, an empowered woman cannot settle for less. Yeah, so if you get to that particular point, you can just never be like, no, you yeah. Because you don't, you, know, you, cannot, you cannot take crap from anyone. No. no. Another no. thing is, no. like, like, these days when you see, like, a woman is wealthy or a rich woman, there's always that thing behind that she's getting support from a man. Yeah. yeah. I mm. know yeah. that. Mm. Women mm. cannot, mm. women are not go-getters, like, yeah. they cannot struggle to get whatever they want. Yeah. When, when, a, when you see a woman that she's a governor or she has a top seat somewhere, mm -hmm. some, she probably did something to get herself up yeah. there. Yeah. And yeah. it's not a nice narrative. So yeah. women should be empowered and educated women should, education should be normalized among, among women. Like, yeah. girls should be educated. And yeah. education is one thing that can never walk away from you. So True. we should. Yeah. That's the only thing that's gonna die. I, I really like the way professors how they're you know. 
like when you okay when you reach when you die you're not gonna be buried with your cars and everything yeah. like, well, well, when you get that phd at least you're gonna be buried with that gold <laughs> 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 that's true then yeah awesome so yeah mm -hmm. it does women should up but, but, uh, also, why, why is it like such a big deal when you see women in STEM, like mm -hmm. women in science based subjects or whatever? Mm -hmm. When you see a woman who's a pilot, it's such a big deal, like, yes, yeah, she's like, why? But when a man is yeah. a pilot, when a it's man normal. is a like, it's normal, normal. I why are women so. When I was in Form 1, I kind of got everything with A's, then I got a D plus. Then my friend took my. Fine, you know, you got when you you know, it kind of it kind of affected me because I was like, okay, because nobody will put a D plus for one physics. Mm -hmm. I'm stupid. Yeah. Then, you know, it kind of made me sit down. Which goes like, so because now you are the physics <laughs> teacher. <laughs> yeah. wow. You see, a powerless. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm gonna pursue this physics. I want to be an engineer, but you know, things do happen. But kind of, I'm gonna pursue this physics and I'm gonna prove him wrong. I feel like women. Ladies should be given chances, yeah. yeah. And we should support them. Yeah, we should also support, support, support them. We do it. When you are not in the way, we should have another. Yeah, yes. 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 yes, supporting them. And while we're in psychology, we learned that what men are waiting. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry to say that, but when you're a dog, mm -hmm. yeah. like men are kind of vulnerable. Mm -hmm. and they're called but women, we are strong. We are strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you have a lady out there is yeah. watching. Yeah. You just know you're strong. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal. You're powerful. You're empowered. Yeah. You're empowered. You're phenomenal. You have you're everything that it so, takes for you to be the person you want to be. Yes. Yes. So, just go for it. Woman is like backboard. Yeah. Yeah. PhD, you should have that PhD as well. Yeah. We are the same, not because I have my PhD, and I'm a woman, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Because sometimes you can find a successful woman, but what you can what you can do, they're like, she's probably not happy. Yeah. She doesn't mm. have a husband. Yeah. She's single. We are yeah. 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 She might have everything but happiness. Yeah. 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 That's just so, a new society, society is really working. You know, it's really Really, in a in a position where I think we should just stand up mm -hmm. and take yeah. our space in the society mm -hmm. and claim it because we are women, we are the women. Yeah, it's not an easy thing. <laughs> yeah, and I also think there should be an way to Yes, Joe, you should just put your mind in front of Thank you very much, Maz. I feel like dropping a mic, Maz, on this session. Wow, Maz, all those points. So on to my question two, Maz. Guy, mic drop, Maz. <laughs> on my question two, 
what are some of the stories nini ni tumesikia like about women when you might try to vie for political posts ni stories gani tumesikia women who have tried vying for poli- leadership positions yeah the yeah. stories there are no good stories we start even with anwai guru people are painting her you know yeah. 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 anaka as if she's trash you know we are all human beings we all born to make mistakes True. but i don't a lot of men who uh, the politicians yeah the men on the fanya mistakes kubukuba but they don't talk about it but once a woman amefanya kitu kidogo they kind of make it kind of make it big, a big deal you know yeah. so i feel like people talking about anwai guru the way as she's a thief it's not good because at the end of the day she's also a person you know yeah. and you know people just trash talking you know, it's just not a good thing so i feel like that point yeah anwai guru and then come on and notice all the governors the women on the court people keep it let's say anwai guru chani chani dilu why why is it like that our society doesn't want mona mona mke Okay. Will do better. Let me give you a small story. One time Michelle was sitting in a hotel with Obama. I'm sure you guys have heard this. And I should like, you know that guy, the owner of the of the hotel was actually hitting on Michelle back then. So Michelle told Obama like that guy is my my like that guy used to hit on me yeah. then obama said what if you married him if you would have married that guy then you will be the owner of this hotel okay. and then do you know what michelle said no if i had married that man he would be the president of yeah. the united states hey, yeah because yeah. 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 she made him the president yeah because yeah, yeah. she made him obama. the president by everything you know she's been there like she she was the person who empowered Obama yeah. to be who Obama is you know yeah. and me feel like women we just have something in us that always brings out the best yeah, yeah. yeah. and you can feel that most powerful men the backbone is the woman yeah. it's a woman yeah. that's a man who's very very powerful lazima to upon a backbone that yeah. man cannot do it alone yeah. he can't yeah. every successful man yeah <laughs> <laughs> Because your mother can never leave you. You've seen, you can't mention names, but you've, you've seen people out there like, they have lost it. They've gone into drugs, crime, whatever. But their mom is always there. My son, I'm proud of my son. I'm, yeah. Your mom will never leave you. And that's a woman. And even if you see like, oh, when you want to be going on, just people. It's the pain of a mother. The woman and then the father she can get the kid even if the son is yeah. dead. Yeah. But I guess you guys, you can just, you know, there's this story over here in Kitchen. There was another thief, a little neighbor. Then I came up from. You know, the mom yeah. and the son, not the son. The mom had to die because of the son. Because I listen, there's no way you're killing the son. So many, they don't come to the control and she died. So I feel like women took on a heart. Took on a heart, yeah. Men cannot do that. That's why God knew, as in, as in, yes, when we were required, we were required, and then we were required, and then we had this to go to the room. So we have all those stories. We have the good stories, we have the bad stories, and it's the society, that's how they see it. But you know what? If you keep on thinking about what the society has to say, you never go. Yeah, you just move regardless. Shukran sana, manze. On to my question three. Do you think it's a good idea? for women to go for these political and leadership posts. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need a female president. Yeah. 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 I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Oh, yeah. 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 It is a good idea. It is a good idea. I want to be an NCA. You will. Yeah, I think I I I I I think women should go for this big leadership yeah without being afraid yeah. of everything of that is gonna happen rejected. rejection and stuff like that why this is because women have better leadership skills and you have to agree with me on that yes. if you don't then i don't know they but i feel like, like, it's I not feel like it's not they do have <laughs> because everyone has you know even even when a kid is born let's look yeah. at these great men out there they say you see yeah. a man can live you anytime but you're gonna stay with the kid you're gonna be like oh i have a kid i have the kid has to eat and stuff the man will be okay why yeah. they don't even carry the ball but now you are there with your nine two nine, five, 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 five. Five. <laughs> that's, that's 
You see, so they should buy for them because if a woman can take care of the pregnancy, give birth to a kid. Put a family together, ensure everyone in the family is okay. Yeah. Children are going to school. Yeah. My husband is going to work. I also empower my husband. You know, if a woman marries a man who, da- who, for example, yes, he has a business idea, but doesn't know how to yeah. implement it, yeah. they do bring that man far away because because I'm going to talk to, talk to this man and you're going to do this thing together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think women will do their best to ensure the world is led correctly. Yeah. 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 Hence, they should vibe. They should <coughs> make sure. I, 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 I want to see you um, look at your mother. Yeah, yeah. She does everything. But a mother is never wrong. Yeah. A woman is never wrong about it. So yeah. why not bring that woman to, to guide us? Because a woman, if a woman loves his or her kid, yeah. a woman can, can love everyone yeah. in this country. I feel like a woman mm. carries the baby of the child. Yeah. Of course. When, when a child dies, the, 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 the person who is usually affected the most is usually a woman. Yeah. Because you kind of you, you've grown with this child, you've you you get the child like you've given the child to mm-hmm. you, 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 you know a woman is a woman. We need a woman. Yeah, we need a woman to be. Because women have motherly love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now if you see Kwasinarius Flani, if you come up to me, you just talk about things that you can you see, even if um, that's it, you know, me, I, like even Mama Kosi, yeah, I, I, Mama Mugine, yeah. that woman would feel bad to kill me, and that woman is not your mother. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, if a woman, another woman can be a mother to another to a child who is not mm-hmm. his or her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A woman can love everyone, yeah. Yeah. And, I, I, and guide everyone. I think I have something to say. Let's take an example. Let's just look at Ethiopia. Let's not go far. Let's yeah. look at Ethiopia. Yeah. The president of Ethiopia is a a woman. Yeah. yeah. And look at how like she's leading the country. Look at every good thing. She's a very friendly person. Like literally you meet her and you take a picture with her. Yeah, she's a very good woman. And that is why Ethiopia has is like running forward in the yeah, African yeah. countries. You yeah. see, yeah. Yeah. why? Because the, the woman, the president is a woman and the, the president is leading Ethiopia very well. Yeah. And if we had such people, such leadership leader, such leaders who are female in the society, yeah. in the country, yeah. I think we would be ahead yeah. in everything. Yeah. Uh, Liberia, Liberia is also led by women. Yeah. They kind of felt it kind of moved from the place it was yeah. to like right now. It's not easy to kind of lead a country that was, you know, had like violence and yeah. other things. Yeah. And if a woman can do that, it will your country from just a horrible place mm. to a place that it is right now. Yeah. It's just phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Men sometimes totally give up fast. But I think a woman cannot give up. Yeah. On to another question. <laughs> do you think men were Zema husbands? Do they support women to go for this leadership and political posts? You know what It's kind of divided. It's divided. Yeah. The probability is Ikochini sana. For instance, man woman is angalia X, or if one woman is angalia six flani, what of the other, uh, the other men will be seeing her, so she'll be like, he'll be like, wow, and then the other one is angalia six flani, you get it? I love you, but I have intimidation, I have to say, I like, to go for that seat, yeah, a higher seat, yeah, yeah. It's minimal, sana. Like they really support that because of that. When I go for his orders, you know, we talk here, we manam kia ki make it. You get it? Yeah. 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 Also, another thing is most men, some some of me niko niko na political ambitions. And I have a husband. His boys are talking about me. I went away. Gangster boys in a sugar. Because imagine if me and the president, my husband, go to live. As like, oh my God. How do you feel? How do you feel being the same amount? I'm so for me. 
Mandy, like so, Nikki, 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 when I'm in those national, I'm making like a national speech or whatever, I'm addressing yeah, many people, yeah. I'm aggressive, like, Ile, I want this done, I want this done. Yeah. The men will be like, Kai, you want to get a So my, my <laughs> spouse will struggle yeah. not yeah. To, to make me not to pursue that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what whatever. people think? People think what I do outside is what I do at home. You see how yeah. principles at school yeah. are so harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, guy, ni mama yako. Why? Oh, because I like she's harsh. You know. Yeah. But sometimes she's that is the that is the image I have to put at work. Yeah. Yes. Why? Because. You get children will have to respect me. I can't come and then I'm being all friendly and lovey dovey to all kids, yeah, you know. Yeah. You have to, have to yeah, you have to have that character. Mm-hmm. And then when I go back home, I'm a mom. I'm a wife. Yeah. I'm, a wife. Yeah. I'm a wife to this beautiful and handsome you know, handsome yeah. man and then you're a mom, you know. Yeah. You have to also know how to run your home. You see, that's why women have that empowerment of running both job that's and why at I home think for That's why we can multitask, you see. Because you can be harsh. Can the job can be harsh? Then to look like, hey, mama, I'm so kind. Hey, I'm guy. I can't get to your home. And she's very fast. Yeah. Can you come and see me at home? I'm a guy. Who no crazy? Oh, she's very fast. So, in summary, it starts from home. Like yeah. your your partner should empower you to pursue something, not pull you down. Not pull you down. Yeah. Because like to some extent, you're the one who's supposed to. You kind of understand. Yeah. 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 And then close your ups and downs. Then you feel. Babe, I think you're not okay. And even if you're pretending to be okay, yeah. it's gonna tell you just straight to the face. Like, and I think like a man, a man who loves you, he's gonna put up with everything. Uh, and a man in fire, he's gonna support you to achieve your dreams. Yeah, yeah. So a man who genuinely loves you is gonna support you. But uh, but in the Western world, it's a normal thing. Like there, you can see the men are really supporting. Them. Look at. Hillary Clinton, the yeah. husband really supports her. Yeah. So in Africa or rather in Kenya, we should normalize supporting our spouses. The Me women. I think, yeah, yeah. Me, I think you know, Kiangalia tradition. Also tradition is good enough. Yeah. yeah. Because in Kiangalia uko mashambani, there was there. Our say how our say how attacking you. Our attacking one of us. Yeah. One of the other one just abana. One of them can't do. Boys, but they don't. So tradition is another thing affecting people. But all in all, I think the same way we stand up for our men, you know, whatever thing they do, they should also stand up for us, help us to reach those greater ambitions or aspirations that we want. So they should always stand in for each other. Like it starts with also the person you are. Because if you work with toxic people, definitely yeah. become toxic. Yeah. Mm. If you work with people who are business minded, yeah. trust me, won't die poor. Yeah, and if you work with people who bring out the best in you, then you'll be the best person, the best version of yourself that you'll ever be. So men should always get your woman's back. Yeah. <laughs> I, also, I also feel like we women, we're comfortable. We're comfortable. Yeah. I feel like we're Very not achieving, we're not achieving uh, the things that we want to like because we're comfortable. Very comfortable. Hey, for real. Chaliyako we're comfortable. No, me, me, I'm not going to be a president of Kibabi. I'm not going to be a president of Kibabi. I'm not going to be a president of Kibabi. Guy, but see me sour too, babe. No, you took home make a tiny sour. You get comfortable. Go to where we go to where Bora Kaziako kitchen yako. I said, Oh my god, eat a good lady. Now, you have a good And then at the end of the day, when the guy graduates, dumps you, you go to another person who's empowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the clock yeah. goes back. Trust yeah. me, I'm becoming the president of Kimabi University. <laughs> <laughs> They don't want to. Come on, come on, I can't attack a hickey. They should just go for it. Like, what happened? So, to relax. No one is going to hear them. No one is going to. Hey. And then, to some extent, do you feel like beauty kind of makes drugs for most of the ladies? Because, like, okay, keep on a two like, okay, I kind of believe, okay, beauty in the but I'm not fatalistic. It kind of like makes you to be beautiful. Yeah. I kind of feel okay, beauty is something that must start talking about the job or something. Yeah. I kind of feel like most ladies 
they kind of get they kind of get uh, well they kind of get a neg uh, the negative aspect of other people actually kind of just into themselves. sometimes even in the entertainment industry yeah, you can you can you see these light skinned girls or brown girls which are scared to who you too skin yake tunde na inamuza who you too if she was lighter if she was that's why you see people getting the pressure to change themselves yeah. Yeah. because they want to be accepted by the society so regardless of someone's skin color body shape or whatever let's support each other let's support the women let's i feel support. like people will just look at what is in the yeah. in what, is in yeah. Yeah. what you have the dark and very yeah because it's of the yeah the dark and very Man, I feel like dropping another mic again. <laughs> Counter mic drop for me, man. Mike. On to my last question. Do you see there's any need for special seats for women? Ama haina haja this seat. What a man can do, a woman can do. So let we are all the same. There's nothing like political affiliated seats, like seats and as affiliated with the male gender or whatever. Let's just have the but same. But also have special seats like for women. Yeah, yeah, of course, that's okay. But to become a president, anyone can buy for it. Yeah. Yeah. But also, is a special seat here in Nakwa? Like, they don't feel like they're supposed to be there. I feel like what they should work on is empowering women. Because aku na jam tu pati ya ati ati. Na jam kitu pati zo vitu. My mentality will just tell me. This is the seat I have to buy. Yes. I can't go for this one yes. because they've given us this. Yeah, no, and we want remember. to go there in for this. that. Yes, there is this one now. Mm-hmm. There is this woman, Sabina Chege, mm-hmm. when you're grown. Mm-hmm. Oh, there is this woman, Sabina Chege, when you're grown. You know, she started from even representative. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's a MP, you see? Yeah. It's, like, it's, a, it's like a starting point. You can start with this small seat and then you can go. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm to say is, okay, Amanda, she was like, yeah. but like, oh, yeah. I feel like what they should work on is like, empowering the women, people are so empowered, but we don't have the platform, and yeah. then they should just educate us, they should make us to be empowered. When someone is empowered, I can go for that. Atambe huyo mwanaume yes kwa hiyo sit but next time it is mine it's mine it's mine I'm going to get it whether you like it or not I'm going to get it so ukinipatia top of it okay sawa basi nominated MCA wewe linda anataka ukuje ukapo itakuwa tu comfortable itakuwa tu comfortable not be working for it hautakuwa na hiyo feeling like go you won't feel the pressure you don't feel your pressure i feel like what when they from our villages they get women educate the women create a way yeah, yeah. 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 tell them they the need to be confident they need to trust in themselves yeah, yeah. Content, like you yeah. Yeah. that's why like these days kuna pata dem kuna venye amejibeba like she's dressed as well her makeup yeah. is on point utasikia tu wa huyo ni ni mrembo tu batana akili eh. ama when say we your slave queen amepata she has secured that degree yeah. or that bag here yeah. beauty with brains you what 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 someone can be dark someone can be the way she was made yeah. but she's pretty let's not look at the skin color or the physical attributes of a person let's just look at like what's inside like the beauty with brains for beauty pigeons to be to be then in Australia there's this woman she's from you right yeah then she's she's beautiful and then she's asked the question how Unaweza kikosa kujua president wa country yenu ndio nikaenda ask I guess that time Obama was the one of the president and who's the who's the president of the United States of America I don't know I know she said like that black lady yeah that's, that's, yeah. that's painful you know mm-hmm. the black person it always always it will be more like you know yeah. yeah. so I feel like beauty is really expensive kama dem yes from rambo but kama hauna kill you nothing yeah, sometimes it starts with us we are like i mean brown yeah. so you can be brown or you can be beautiful but once you don't have a brain empower yourself first cuz hakuna yeah. haja when we leave hapo ndo kujibisha ukae tu kwana wakuza maswali juu but we, because we got ulifika uli huko juu with your color just i think that when a lady is such a stand i don't you have set your standards you can actually you have the purpose yes when somebody ask you the que- ask you like the question unajibu like meaning akili yako papers zako zinaonesha yeah zina much 
Hakuna mtu atakukujia ni hizi ati oh my god I need to sleep with you no nikupatie hiyo kazi. Unajua? But when you're dumb Yes, you can have a you first class. But when somebody asks you a question, I think, Manzi, you have to go food. You know, come back. If you don't give me your, your, your chini, I won't give you this job. Or maybe you're desperate for that thing. You kind of find yourself. And that's more reason. That's like, even though, same way, we pick up a Jew, but you just. Uli, uli, fitia to my gender, you can pick up a Jew. Yo, that's that narrative of. Women have to do something to get something in return. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. people are finding their way up there with shortcuts. So let's let's just accept use your brain and accept and go work for it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like dropping a mic manze for this session. You guys let me tell you, you fabulous. Okay, for the wrap up session in the shortest time possible. I would like to hear each one's final stake on Women, leadership, and empowerment. So what's your final take on these three issues? Okay, personally, I'd say women or girls, so many, like, make sure you secure that bag, secure that degree. Your education will never walk away from you. People will walk away from me when you tell them that I want to I wanna pursue this. I wanna, they will walk away from you. So, so many, be empowered with your education and don't take that thing of, oh, I'm brown to be a privilege to you. No. Go out there, struggle, and hustle. Hustle like a man, like they always say. Hustle like a man. And get your way up there legally or in the right way. Don't take small favors to push you up there. Just do it on your own and be empowered. Start empowering yourself. My final take on women concerning empowerment, leadership, and um, just everything concerning a woman. First you have to know, I love the saying that says women with brains or beauty with brains. Why? Because it shows how you're beautiful and how you're using your brains. Don't allow anyone to like think you're not beautiful enough, you're not um, qualified enough to get something. No, you can have whatever you want. And if you want to be a leader, you can be the greatest leader ever in history. It starts with you believing in yourself. And if you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter what the person next to you thinks. Just believe in yourself and trust me, you got this. So make sure you empower yourself because if you build on yourself, there is something that says the best project is working on yourself. So if you work on yourself, you're gonna bring out the best in you. You're gonna be the best leader, you're gonna be the best um, entrepreneur, person, whichever you, whatever you want. So just make sure you believe in yourself and go in for whichever seat you want to go in for. And don't forget books. Okay, uh, to sum up on whatever we've been discussing right now about female leadership, yeah, to my fellow ladies outside there, feel empowered, go for those seats, man. Tunaweza, akuna msiawezi. So, just feel empowered. Mtu asiku pull down. Chase your dreams, you can make it. Like, you're just strong, you believe in yourself. And you can do great things. So I say, big up. Okay, in my conclusions, I'm going to talk about three words. I'm going to talk about trust, accept, and support. So in order for you to go far, you have to trust yourself, regardless, regardless of everything. Trust yourself should be number one. And then the second one should accept yourself. You see, some of us seem rainbow. To do any ugly, I'm always to do when you wait. Accept yourself the way you are. Whether blind. Accept yourself, and when you accept yourself, it motivates you to do something, to do something bigger. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you should accept yourself. Also, I'm going to my last word will be support. So you should support another woman. If you are a woman, we are all going to do it if we come together. Support each other for a successful thing. Your kila to be successful. So that's all. In conclusion, I am a beautiful, black, strong lady who is a phenomenal and I'm also a feminist so if I can possess such confidence why should you if you're a woman out there and you're watching me I come from a family of great women and if they are the roots I am the stem why not you get uh, what's it called what uh, the stronghold Zako for your family so what I want to advise women today our main business is not to See what dimly lies at a distance but what clearly lies at our hand so if you right now you've been offered with a platform to be empowered please do not take that for granted and lastly educate
education liberates. And if we do not tackle the mind, which is our powerhouse, we are, no, we are not going anywhere. So I'm advising all the ladies, if you have the opportunity to get empowered right now, do not take it for granted. 